sad passing of Leonard Nimoy. E.T. has had the great fortune of talking to him many times over the span of decades. He talked about the lasting impact of Spock on all of us, and more importantly, how it even changed him. Live long and prosper. September 8th, 1966, the night we went on the air, after the first episode aired, I called him at his home and I said, Bill, what do you think of the show, Bill? That's pretty good. It's pretty yeah, good. I thought it was pretty good. Too. You think it has legs? Speculation is unnecessary, Captain. The answer is clear. Why the enduring friendship? We're like brothers. We went through a, 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 a very long and interesting and, and uh, tumultuous process together. Came out the other side of it as friends. I have been and ever shall be your friend. Yes. The series, uh, while it was extremely good entertainment, I think at the same time offered food for thought. Obviously, Tribbles are very perceptive creatures, Captain. Obviously. The messages are there, and, and there are enough uh, ideas present for people to interpret them as they see fit. We are traveling back to now. We will land in San Francisco in the late 1980s. There are two challenges here. One is to be different, and the other is to try to be consistently better than the previous film. Professionally, Spock has been a great blessing. Emotionally, I think the character helped me as I think the character helped a lot of people. Spock was helpful as a role model, and he was for me. I think I became a much more balanced individual as a result of portraying Spock. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. I have learned never to say never again. I don't know what's next. I have no idea. I didn't think I would be doing television. I'm going back to work in Fringe for J.J. Abrams. I've been waiting quite a long time for this. Who are you? I'm William Bell. I have portrayed a lot of different characters in my lifetime. Certainly Spock was a major, major factor. But I'm not Spock. I never was. Spock? I need to speak with you. <laughs> when they uh, were interested in Zachary Quinto, they sent me some footage of him. And I, I saw immediately what the possibilities were. I have made a vow never to give you information that could potentially alter your destiny. I have always felt, particularly with Star Trek, that one must be very careful to see to it that you're not simply cashing in on the title, that, uh, that the audience has high expectations. I'm delighted with the fact that people care. I shall simply say, good luck. He really was a special man because he was at peace with who he was. He was never bothered by the burden of what Star Trek and Spock could have been. Right. He he embraced it and he connected to that character. And he, and he had so many that. other interests: yes. music and poetry and photography. So he wasn't just Spock. He lived a full life. He did. He lived long and he prospered. He certainly did.